piping your aquaponics um vats tubs totes and channeling water to specific areas on your within your yard space stay tuned Everybody, welcome again to another episode of fish keeping Jamaica welcome to my channel okay so for the past couple of videos I've been sharing with you um, aspect of um, you know having that backyard system set up so that you can have a passive income to tilapia fish farming right and share with you that you start little and it increase gradually within your stock within your containers within your business and within your reach we also looked at capitalization, you know, financing, marketing, sustainability. We look at business plan. We look at a whole lot, a lot of things that is related to um, having that tilapia fish farm as a passive income. But I, 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 it was done on me that I needed to share with you that there are some fine points in fish keeping that you need to be aware of familiar with and one of that fine points in addition to tilapia fish feeding which i'll do in the next video um is practically the channel of your water now i shared with you in a video before that i once had a big um 55 gallon drum here on a table in which i did filtration system um set up for the entire 18 um drums that i had well that i have here right i never had these totes as yet okay so uh the top piping was for the water to actually enter into each drum and the bottom piping is for um practically um removing the water and turning in the water from the drum uh to a particular section within the yard in which it will either be used to water plants or it will just be channeled into a nearby stream okay i shared with you in another video that is not related to this um the the, the importance of overflow now the overflow is that point where in which the water reaches within your vat your tote your fish system where in which the water comes up to a level it cannot reach any further it cannot go any further because this overflow control mechanism what it does it, it prevents water from actually overflowing um, within your yard thus um, you won't run the risk of your fish actually um, being washed forcefully um, out of the containers so therefore when water reaches a particular level the water would exit through this pipe and it will be carried down to the wastewater pipe and it will be carried to a particular section of the yard now over the years i have had this system in place um for roughly about six years and over the years um as a result of rainfall you know release of water um there has been some elongation or should i say um you know the, the, the land have actually slipped a little bit um where in which the tubs are actually slanting into one side if you notice the tubs are slanting to one side so therefore the the whole dynamics as to the um the overflow might not be working as oh i intended it to um within every system right okay so let's revert a little bit and we're talking about tilapia backyard farming now now you have your huge vat here 2000 gallon 5000 gallon uh, 2000 gallon 25 1000 depending on the size in which you have right you have an you have a decision to make whether or not you're going to actually plumb all your vats together right and um and 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 and, and release water within the same lineage into your yard right now as far as my ibc totes are concerned each i have seven by the way so i have seven ibc totes and no they don't all have tilapia right two have tilapia out of the five right so 
each tote is independent as far as the release of water is concerned and as far as the catchment of water is concerned all of that was done intentionally so as to not allow cross contamination should in case there is any issue within one space um, it is not actually forced into the other space as a result of the piping mechanism so everything is done independently it's a lot more work because if I want to change water let's say that everything was plumbed together all several was plumbed together I could easily change all water one time by just turning one valve all water come down to a level and then I just put the hose in one container and all containers fill right but uh, that is your choice as to whether or not you're going to be doing that it's a lot more work doing it this way but I think it's appropriate for the type of fish that I have the pH level that is required and the um, bio load that each fish actually um, um, contribute to the whole system um, bio load right okay so uh, we're talking about fish waste here uh, for example um, the fish waste that is released by let's say fingerlings right um, although these fingerlings might look as if they are small but they do pack a mean punch as far as um, waste is concerned and so you have to cater for that right for these fish I do extensive water change at least once per month however for my tot here with my larger fish right um, right now I'm doing some aquaponics and it's evening so I'm gonna take off this and I'm doing some aquaponics right and on my aquaponics I have my lettuce my lettuce stock right so as far as the, the, the change in the water is concerned I do that but I only do that like probably once or six weeks or it, it depends on how the water coloration looks and how the fish are actually behaving because I need the nutrients to be constantly being supplied to my my lettuce plants right and you wonder how is it that this came into the whole dynamics of backyard um, tilapia passive income we're talking about the whole idea of plumbing your vats you have between 15 to 25 vats because remember you you're gonna you're gonna start a business although you have the 95 you're gonna start a business right and I've actually laid out for you how you would actually structure all of this I know financing talking about market research talking about who your client is talking about where you get your toes talking about where you get the containers your fish you know how you start up everything we, we, we discussed that before now we're talking about whether or not you're going to be choosing to actually plumb your um your, your containers together now for me whether or not i have 20 or 30 containers i would not plumb my large containers together i would do it independently right probably i would have a main a main a big probably five five inch um pvc pipe wherein it's all the containers are actually uh, um, attached to somewhere somehow but to have water from one container run to another container um, so as to you know manage the water flow uh, I, I would not do that okay so you have your small containers right and um, and the small containers like this because you just start you, you, you start with your paint pan your five gallon bucket and um, you had fingerlings they stayed there for 20 28 weeks sorry 28 days right um, by the way that wouldn't be fingerling that would be more like fries right um, 28 days after 28 days they put in this two and a half inches they go into the tote or larger container now you will need what you call bulkheads if you go to the garden store or the hardware um, garden store sells the bulkheads which are the, the little black thing that goes around right I'm gonna be placing a video at the end of this video um, within the description which actually explain how bulkhead works and why I choose bulkhead over union seals or any other type fit, pipe fitting such as um, male and female um, PVC adapter like what I did here I, I, I explain that in full the reason why but you're gonna be getting some right if you choose to actually plumb all your small ponds together now I have actually plumbed them together because this this system was primarily uh, two or three different types of fish not as much as I not as yeah not as many as I have right now 
right right now I have several different type of fish and each fish have different pH have different bio load have different everything and so to take the water from all one time and to put through one big filtration system that would be putting my fish at a disadvantage now I look at that um, when I was actually considering tilapia I looked at that and I said to myself that listen the baby fish which is the fry and the fingerlings and the juvenile and the adult tilapia all have different specific um, you know water per per parameters yes I know if you read up on the internet you you might say that um, they, they, they will say that um, tilapia pH is this or that and they don't specify as to the, um, the, the, the different stage of development but each stage of development requires different things right so um, I would I would for example um, put I, I if I if I had um, the opportunity to structure a tilapia fish farm which fish goes into the shade versus which fish doesn't go into the shade I would more likely put the, um, the baby fish underneath a shaded area uh, the fingerlings underneath a shaded area and the adults or the juveniles I would more likely put them in the sun right and reason for this is that the adults and the juvenile when they do reproduce they will consume the babies well not the adults but the adults are, are aggressive in nature right especially when it comes on to breeding and so therefore the, the green water it kind of opaque their vision so therefore they are you know a little bit more control or reserve as far as aggressiveness is concerned as far as the juveniles are concerned as soon as the babies are released the other tank mates or pond mates will actually try to consume them so having them in green water is very good because it actually camouflages the baby and also the babies themselves will consume the plankton within um the the the, 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 the the within the water however as far as adults are concerned if you are planning to harvest um tilapia it would be more it will be more common sense for you to place that harvest tilapia well those those tilapia that you plan to harvest let's say that um you're planning ahead and next three weeks you're planning to harvest tilapia within this space and this is just for an example right you would have taken these tilapia you'd have changed the water i would have put them into an area that is well filtered i mean like submersible pump filtered well clean no 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 fragment of green water none at all and you will have them be like that for about three weeks before you actually collect them so as to get them prepared to be sold and the reason for that is that um, whenever tilapia consumes um, plankton tons or green water right um, they taste like mud they taste like dirt if you try to consume them within the same time and that's the reason why tilapia will have this darkish blackish or uh, grayish color when you actually start to process them you know you, you scale them you click the stuff and um you start to gut them you realize that the entire inside is black in color the reason for that is because they have been consuming a lot of um plankton that exists within the water okay so you're talking about the piping and you're talking about water release that's a very important um topic that you need to consider when considering backyard fish keeping now for me i I, sh I wanted to have a, a little garden here but um, what happened is that um, the sun during the days is very hot so what I would need to do I would need to put a little shed here so as to get the garden going however the water when released here um, it is used by my breadfruit tree right and my breadfruit tree it has been trying to bear for the past two years and every breadfruit that it bears is just falling off the tree anyway that's a different story for my toads and this is one of the factors which have actually encouraged me not to plumb all my toads together for example um that toad right there and uh, that that houses my bootstock whenever that water is released my cherry tree will get the water and my cherry tree here right and sometimes it depends on how how um the water flow because i can just change the water flow by using a piping a five gallon cut piping right um i can get it to the lime tree and my orange tree now for the other for the other for the other um containers when released 
and the water uh, goes to the Aki tree right and it also flows and it, it is channeled to some extent to the breadfruit tree right so the water within my space um, after being used by the fish um, you know with all that nutrients in it it is actually challenged somewhere oh and I have my sour sap tree here and the water is actually on the sour sap tree you know water the, the, the roots are scattered all over the place right so therefore they enjoy well the sour sap enjoy the water and my coconut tree here actually get some of the water because the coconut tree root actually spreads all around right here right so the, the water for my ponds actually facilitate the growth of my fruit trees but we're talking about the plumbing of the the, 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 the tubs are the containers that houses my tilapia right um as i said before you can choose whether or not you're going to be plumbing all of them together or whether you're going to plumb them any at all right uh, my toad comes with a lack of valve right where which i can choose to turn off the water or turn on the water well i can choose to open and close it when i open it all the water comes out when i close it water cease to come out however when you talk about a 55 gallon drum 55 gallon drum does not come with a valve does not come with an exit hole so therefore you're gonna to have to do one or two things right you're gonna to have to either get another small bucket and bail out the water each time you're gonna do the water change or you're gonna get a bulkhead you're gonna um, plumb your pipe um, attach it to the container and have attach a valve to it now there's a video in which i did a few years ago about the plumbing of my pipes within my system you can follow that video um, because this video is kind of going over too long however it's just it's just a point to you that you you, you have an option as to whether or not you're going to plumb everything together and do it independently whether or not you're going to be doing it independently um you're still going to have to um, put a bulkhead in each of the containers so as to get rid of the wastewater as soon as possible. It can be a little bit tedious for you to actually be bailing water of three, four, five job, right? You want to do some water change amongst your, your, your fingerlings you need to have, but you have to be bailing out the water. It's kind of really bit, bit, bit tiresome, right? So you have to consider that and plumb the, 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 the thing together. You don't have to plumb the top part, you just plumb the ones that, um, well, you plumb the, the lower end of the of the drum which allows the water to escape when plumbing do not make the mistake like what i did here when which i plumb this one too low so should in case i like turn on the valve and i don't remember that i turned on the valve all the water is released by the time i come depending on the type of fish that you have they might die because this has been plumbed all the way down here i advise um everyone in which you know speak to me about plumbing um to actually plumb your 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 drums about between four to five inches away from the base that gives your fish some amount of space should in case there's an accident <coughs> in case, the case that there's an accidental release of water or intentional release but you just that ne you never come back in time to you never return in time so as to turn off the valve right at least your fish will be safe until you return Right, so all my valves, all my bulkheads, and all these are snail stuff, you know. Anyway, all the bulkheads are done at least four to five inches away from the base. And so even if I turned on the valve, this one is inside of the pond. Even if I turn on the valve and release the water, the water will just release and stop here. Right, and um, I'm now going to have to come back and either fill it up or bail out the rest, yeah use my hands with a small bucket um the first first video that i actually shared with you i shared with you that you need several small buckets several small buckets is not necessary to to keep fish but to do maintenance work right sometimes you're gonna have to do maintenance work shifting around sometimes you're gonna need to have well not sometimes all the time you have to have a spare bucket should in case you have some water change to do or some you need to make some adjustment to your system a fish is getting aggressive a fish is a jumper or uh, whatever right um this this mesh over this container 
it is not placed here because I don't want anything to go in but it is placed here because I don't want what is in to come out I spoke about this in a video I'm not sure if it's within this series that my Jaguar Cichlid is here and I just discovered a few weeks, a few weeks ago that this is how I've been losing them right um jaguar cichlids they love to jump so any insect they see either moving on the water or moving anywhere at all here they will jump towards it and um sometimes they jump to their depth tilapia also jumps and with these jumps being shallow i think i shared on a video before that it makes sense for you regardless you have a 2000 gallon 3000 5000 1000 um uh, uh, uh to a uh, vat or whatever it is that you keep the, the fish in um tilapia do jump especially when the when the when the water that they are they are in is shallow right especially when you have a lot of males and you have a little bit of females they do jump right when you have a lot of males they still jump because males are fighting for supremacy what you call um alpha male status right so the essence of this video is just to share with you that in looking at backyard tilapia fish farming you have to look at our possibilities um join me next time when i speak to you about um tilapia fish feed um what's the best practical tilapia fish feed that you can actually use in your backyard tilapia fish experience thank you very much for joining thank you very much for viewing i appreciate you watching peace out guys yeah a lot of talking but i never i wasn't around the fish today yeah i, I hope that what i said makes sense peace out bye bye